In the last video we finished this symmetrical composition. Now I'm going to take the time to add some extra stuff in. We talked about symmetrical balance where one thing on one side is exactly the same as it is on the other side. We also talked about the half, folding something in half and then cutting it. And we talked about the quarter, folding something in half, cutting it and then folding it in half again. So we have th four pieces that are from there. So now I'm going to take some extra pieces here. If I have something folded over, I can cut anything out of it to make our organic shape and use that. So I'm going to take this and notice this is the open end here. I'm going to cut a wiggly line. Okay, just like that. Cut a wiggly line. And now I'm going to cut a curved line over here. Just like that. And I've got two shapes that are exactly the same, kind of like a bean shape and they should be exact because we cut both of them out at the same time. Then I'm going to have to make them sitting them down somehow so that they are exactly symmetrical in the picture. So we want them about there. Okay, then I'm going to take my shape, three little bunny hops, and set it down. I'm going to put it right next to the edge. And right here, I'll get three little bunny hops and we'll put it down right next to the edge. Good. Now I've got this shape here. All right. What if we take this and we just cut this curve out, straight line, and I still got those two pieces of paper folded over. So now I have two pieces that are exactly the same. They have that curve on there. What if I take this and I line it right up with the edge there, and I line this one right up with the edge there. Now we've got more symmetry. So I'm going to take that and glue it down. Two little bunny hops. One, two. Place that right at the edge. And this little one. Bunny hops. Okay, good. Now I'm going to get a new piece of paper. I'm going to go back to blue because I haven't used blue in a while. And I'm going to fold this one in half and I'm going to cut out, um, here's my fold line, you can see, I'm going to cut this in half. Now I have two pieces, I have this one that's still folded in half, I'll set that aside, and I've got this one folded in half. Now I'm going to cut a half circle, and I'll dot a little half circle on so people can see it. So if I start here and I dot a half circle up this way, and back down. It's kind of going to be oval like, and I cut right along there. Now I've got an oval, and I can take this oval and put it out somewhere. Is it going to be too big? Ooh, just about right. Perfect, right there. So I'm going to take this and glue it down. Okay, glue that right there, right along the fold line. Glue this one right along the fold line. And now I'm going to have to take a second color and overlap it on top of there. Maybe this red. I think the red's going to look good. What if I take a triangle like this? Ooh, like this. Corner to corner. Get a triangle here. And we'll put that right there. That's oh, a little too big. Put those back together, make them a little smaller. Notice how I put these two pieces back together. Then if I put them back together and line them up just right, I can cut them some more and I have smaller pieces. So there's symmetry now. Okay, you can almost see it it's starting to look almost like a face or something up here. Okay, I'm going to glue these down to make some symmetry. Glue it right on the line. A little more symmetry. Okay, and in, so in this video we've taken the time to show you how to do some organic shapes, reuse some shapes that you can um, 
have them be kind of organic or rounded on one side, straight on the other side. And you've got lots of other scraps that you could use now to fill in some space. So in the rest of class, what I would like you to do is finish off your collage and make it symmetrical and put your shapes so that they f are exactly symmetrical with that center line. So to review the things that we've learned about most in here in this video were um, ge geometric and organic basic shapes. We reviewed our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. We reviewed how many different shapes can have sizes, bigger sizes, smaller sizes, just like I've got a big blue rectangle and a smaller yellow one. We re reviewed overlapping because I've got shapes that are overlapping on top of each other. And then we reviewed folding something in half, cutting something into quarters, and we really, really hit up symmetrical balance and practiced making a symmetrically balanced picture just like this. Okay, and that concludes our symmetrically balanced collage.